We were all tremendously concerned. Could the American auto company survive? Oh my God, the General Motors Corporation is gonna end. You'd get up every day and it was, are we gonna live to see another day? The Automotive Task Force was created by President Obama to deal with a problem. I was asked to take the auto job. Now, I was flabbergasted by that because I was not a car guy. I think Steve Ratner was the largest Democratic fundraiser in New York State. He arrived with a toxic cocktail of ignorance on one part and arrogance on the other part. To the extent the government lost money on those bailouts, then the taxpayers were funding benefits for the UAW. The UAW went from protecting the rights of workers from abuse to feather bedding. The union had this company by the throat. If you worked 30 years in a car factory, you could retire. You could be collecting for longer than you actually worked. GM at that point was spending far more on health care than it was on steel. There were thousands of people sitting around getting paid reading the paper. They wouldn't believe if you milk this cow too much, it's going to drop over dead sometime. And it was chapter 11 where they finally believed us. We came this close to letting Chrysler go out of business. I said to Steve, I want the $7 billion and not a penny less. He was concerned that something was being cooked up to not pay the secured creditors back. And I told him, this is America, that can't happen. He said, we'll take Chrysler, but we're not gonna pay any cash for it. I don't think I ever got a company that size for free. How does Steve Ratner fire the CEO of GM? What, there's gambling in here. Round up the usual suspects, and then you grab one and you make him the person. The government took $5 billion away from the secured lenders and effectively gave it to the unions. Once you make the decision to bail out the auto companies, you gotta play by the rules. This was about votes, a payback, literally. You still have this labor monopoly. I don't see how we don't get back in this situation. The government will lose 10, maybe $15 billion. I think a lot of investors feel that what happened was wrong, maybe illegal. It's not clear. To sell it as an American success story is disingenuous.